okay so uh, i see that like three people are watching i guess i'm not sure because i don't see anything on the chat but well i just wanted to unbox this now my cat is in it because i've been waiting here hello this box it's not that big but it's heavy because my cat got in it got into it uh, i picked everything up that's in this box from japan when i went there like two years ago and i've been like i put it away and i don't even remember what's in it so i just want to unbox it if my cat wants to get out of there it would be cool eh. Eh. get out of here she went underneath where i have my laptop cute cat yeah she's cute but um she's the one who hurt my hand so i have these scars now i don't know if you can see it in the camera but yeah yeah she's the vicious one <laughs> Anyway, so I'll just start off with whatever's on the top. Well, I think she found a bug or something. Anyways, so hmm, this is, I guess, just a pamphlet. Like, I don't know, uh, from Nandoroid and Figmas. Hi, Kawaii is there, but. <laughs> She's cute, but it hurt a lot. So, yeah, she doesn't usually do that. Any, anyway, eh? what's so? What looks delicious? <laughs> My cat. Uh, let's see what this is. This is Yamashiro. Yeah, uh, this is a toy store in Tokyo where I think. Yeah, I went to the Kirby Museum, and I got these like. What's it? Well, what do you call it? Uh, bookmarks. So yeah. Oh, this is you get this for going in the museum, and I guess I kept it. Oh. Let's see what this is. Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a clear folder or whatever you want to call it, Super Sonico and Usa. No, Sono Higurashi. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, this, 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 I cannot see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see boobies and stuff. Well, I can show you this. I guess. This is not too bad. But I can see some nudity on the back page. I don't know why we picked these up. I think we just picked up everything that we found that was like out there in Akihabara. And that's why we have stuff like these that we can't show to anyone. So yeah. Uh, nope. This one's safe. Yeah, okay. I'm just afraid to show anything. Okay, this one is safe. <laughs> it's safe on the back side, but not that much. This one is definitely not safe to show. This one, no, it's not safe. This one, yes. I don't know, but these are visual novels or something. Games, adventure games, otome games. Yeah, safe. Yeah, lots of ads. Did you ship the box back? Uh, no, we carried it in the luggage. So you can imagine we had like, we went with just one leg luggage each. So I went with my husband and we came back with two and a half. <laughs> we bought another one and then another backpack full of stuff. We didn't want to spend too much. Uh, I guess this one is, is it safe? Kind of safe, I guess. Not on the back side, I see new DD. Uh, this has to be safe because this looks like a free magazine. So 
Occultic Nine. I actually never watched the series. I watched three episodes or something, and I couldn't get into it. So, yeah. Um, just, you know, random info about anime. Wait. <laughs> Receipt for Carl Jr. We went to the Carl Jr. in Akihabara because we wanted to know if, um, if it would taste the same, but it was the same thing. And we spent $23 for two, two hamburgers. So it was pretty expensive. And we have a map of Akihabara. This one is in English. No, yeah. Whoa, cat. I don't know what she found, but she's going crazy. On down. Safe? Yes, safe. Safe. And this one says Dungeons and Daimewa. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, it's like all text. So I don't know. I guess you're supposed to read it. But there are some nudity in some of the pictures. And this is from the same, yeah, nudity. Lots of nudity, so no, no show. Um, this is a bag from the Kirby, what was it? Kirby Museum. Yeah, we didn't throw it away, I guess. Uh, empty bag from Pokemon Center, another one. <laughs> My cat. She wants to be on the camera. Maybe if she would keep quiet, I would let her stand here or sit here in front of me. This one, these are empty, empty gacha balls. I guess I took the contents out of it. And then I have a little pamphlet of Persona 5 because when I was there, that's when the game came out in Japan. Uh, yeah, I used to like Pokemon a lot more than I do now. I, did, I actually didn't play the new Pokemon, because I don't know. I wasn't that interested. I have two for some reason. I don't know why. I don't want her to knock anything. Stop it! Stop it. Um, I don't remember where I got it, but I have a Kirby Art Ball Jigsaw. Uh, I guess it's like a puzzle, but it's a wall, and I haven't opened it. I should. It cost uh, 1,296 yen. So this was in the Kirby Museum. I saw the the price tag. And then this Tinkles Balloon Fight. This was a gift from Club Nintendo. Uh, or you got it with the points, right? Uh, how much did I pay for it? Three dollars. Three dollars. Three hundred yen. You're not supposed to be. I mean, this this isn't for resale, but whatever. Somebody sold it. <laughs> uh, I got this big pin. Uh, what was her name? I don't say. Oh yeah, uh, she's from Dangar Monta, the one that gets killed at the very beginning. Uh, keychain. What's his name in English? Uh, I forgot his name in English from Ghost and Goblins. In Japanese, he's called Red Arimer. Uh, but yeah, 500 yen. Yeah, Red Arimer, but that's not what they call it in English, right? I think his name is different. Hmm? Firebrand? Really? Oh. I thought it was something different. Um, uh, uh, Yukiko, yeah, Yukiko from Persona 4, yeah, and Halloween clothing and stuff. I don't know, uh, 108 yen, so it's like a dollar. I don't know what that is. Ghost and Goblin, 
again. It's almost 500 yen also. Uh, oh, I remember this. Uh, this one was from Gugu de Kokkuri-san. Yeah, it's a show about this girl. She's really like weird. She's really quiet, and she meets this like fox spirit, and he tries to take care of her, almost like a parent. And it's a comedy show, anime. It's pretty funny. I got that. Wait, how much was that? A dollar. And this weird keychain from uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, Link Between Worlds. Yeah, Link Between Worlds. I keep wanting to say link to the past, but yeah, this was two dollars and something. Oh, this one's cool. I never played Silent Hill, but I like this character. What was it? Something Robbie or something like that? Six dollars. That's kind of expensive for something used. And. They said cheap, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I didn't get this. I'm pretty sure it was my husband because I don't like this character. So I think, what is it? A bag? Or, oh, yeah. You, you're supposed to put like a pillow in here, like a cushion case or a pillow case that we will never use. I thought maybe it was like a poster. Yeah, she's not my favorite character out of all the female characters in Persona 4. Yeah, you can see my cat calm down. No, she left. Uh, what's this? Ticket. Um, biohazard pin set. So this, can you see it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't play these games, so I didn't get it. Uh, it was a dollar. Uh, I don't know what a uh, trading card. It's supposed to be shiny. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. Luck and logic. Luck and logic. I think my husband picked it up. I don't know how much it costs. It's just one trading card. And this is a acrylic stamp, Macross Delta. So it's still sealed. I'm not very familiar with Macross or any kind of like uh, Mecha series. I'm not into those. The only one I kind of like is uh, uh, Evangelion. And I have another one of those. Uh, Pin set. Uh, there. Biohazard. This one was also a dollar. It's like we picked up so many things, we don't know what to do with them because it's not like you're going to put them on your clothes. So, I mean, it's for collect collecting, but what, what are you supposed to do with them? Um, ones from Mega Man and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, many people, I've heard that Macross is pretty good, but I don't know anything about that series, and my husband hasn't watched any of the new ones. I don't know if they're good. Another one from uh, Link Between Worlds? Yeah. No, I don't play Mega Man. I mean, well, what happened? Am I still online? All of a sudden, my chat disappeared. Whoa, okay, I see now. No, I don't play Mega Man. Uh, I'm not into playing platformers or those types of games. Yeah. Where did I get all these? I got it from Japan. <laughs> okay, uh, this one is Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Yeah, I'm gonna get it right. This one was two dollars and fifty cents or something like that. Yeah, I picked everything up in Japan like two years ago and I just stuffed everything in the box because what am I gonna do with all these? Uh 
They said cheat. This is cute, but I didn't get it. It's like a dollar. And another one? I think we picked this up to give away. And we actually gave one away to a friend. And I don't know why we still have so many. Yeah. So that was for this. Uh, what does it say? My first anime was Tayo no Ko Esteban. I haven't watched that one. I don't know which one that is. I'll check it out later. Uh, this one is from the Kirby Museum. It's just a pamphlet that we, we kind of just took. It was cool because they had like um, on exhibition old Kirby stuff, like the old plushies that, you know, how the old Kirby look, look weird with like whiskers. Yeah, they have stuff like that. And the um, posters from Pokemon Center when Pokemon Sun and Moon was still new. I think it hadn't come out yet. I still haven't played it. I played a little. And this one is like a coupon, I guess. 50% off. Oh my god. And ditto. Cho big na. Metamon. Nuigurumi tojo. Very big. Ditto, plushy, yeah. I don't know why my chat keeps disappearing. Kirby, have you watched something about Kirby? No, I haven't. I'll check it out later. Um, this is definitely not mine. <laughs> what do you call this? Um, from Takenoko, or Tatsunoko, Takenoko, Tatsunoko Productions. What is this one? Yeah, cash iron. Um, yeah, I, I've never watched it. <laughs> it's a little bit older than what I used to. Like, it's not my generation, I guess. Um, are you only seeing a tama? And that's it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> this one is half age characters, Persona 4, the animation. I don't even know which characters are in it, but it's supposed to be one or two of these. I don't know. Oh, it's the stickers are on there, but it's still see you. Uh, there. Uh, paid, yeah. Like $5.50. <clears throat> Open it. I don't think this was mine, but I think I'll open it because I don't think my husband will ever notice even if I open it or even if I like threw away all this stuff, all these stuff, I don't think he would ever notice. I didn't bring a knife. So how did they manage to seal it up so well? There you go. Just, I'm not gonna tell him. And I'm sure my cats won't tell him either. Uh, um, it wasn't Chie, but her head is <laughs> separated from the body. I'm not going to open it, but now I know which character it was. Uh, it's kind of creepy, you know, how they uh, package these things. These things. <laughs> And yeah. Uh, next, more folders. This is scary because I don't know what's in the folder. And let's see. Oh, I remember this. These are characters from. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you just got 1,000 subscribers. I noticed in the morning. Yeah, it's almost a year since I started the channel. Uh, not yet. Like in a week, it was gonna be one year, or something like that. And this is a character from my hometown or home city or home prefecture, whatever you want to call it, Niigata. And we went to the manga and anime museum that's there, and so we picked up a whole bunch of like, you know, pamphlets. And then 
there was a exhibition of Evangelion and what was it? Japanese sword or something like that. What you see here, that's what we saw in the museum. So yeah, they had a whole bunch of like swords uh, themed after the characters and they had statues of the like, different characters with the swords and stuff. So yeah, so, uh, what is this? So this is the, oops, <laughs> oh, this is the ticket that you get when you pay. It's not free to go in, but yeah. I don't remember how much it was, it doesn't say. But if you ever go to Niigata, you might wanna go to this museum they have lots of cool stuff about manga. So, what does it say in the comments? Uh, I was looking for a Dragon Quest translation guide, and it up here. Well, I actually never translated Dragon Quest, but yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was gonna play it, but uh, the PlayStation 4 version looks like it's gonna give me motion sickness, so I didn't play it. This one is just a pamphlet about Studio Studio Ghibli. Yeah, it was gonna be at the museum in Niigata, but we didn't go there. I mean, to, to this event. Uh, well, I don't know. Whatever this is, pamphlet, pamphlet. Stop eating the plastic. My cat has pica. She eats stuff that she's not supposed to eat sometimes. I don't know why. So I have to keep an eye out on her so that she doesn't eat or chew up stuff because then if she eats too much, then she will throw up plastic and it's not good for her. Whew. Okay, it's kind of hot in here because I don't have air conditioning in this room. This is my cat's room. So this is where all my cats, there are three of them. Uh, there is, you can see one right there, she's sleeping. And there's another one inside one of these boxes. But there's no air conditioning in this one. Oh. Empty bag from J World. So this is like a mini amusement park of um, Shonen Jump. So you get to see stuff like from Dragon Ball. Uh, that's the only thing I can. Oh, One Piece, Naruto, and all that. Uh, so what's in here? So. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember these pretty. This is the guidebook. This one is in English. I think my husband picked this one up. Oops. You got information. It's, um, so 800 yen for admission ticket. Unlimited attraction pass, 2,600. Night passport, 1,800. And if you show your passport, if you're not from Japan, I think you get a discount. Um, your cat's room is bigger than mine. Yeah, my cat's room is bigger than mine, too. <laughs> they have the biggest room in the house. So this is a collaboration thingy that was going on with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4. Yep. So they had uh, statues from the of the characters in real size and stuff. And we have One Piece thingy. I don't like One Piece. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't like the art style. And I watched like four episodes and I couldn't get into it. So yeah. This one, what was this one? Hitman, Katekyo Hitman Reborn. Never watched the series. Um, Psychic Sono Saina. I don't know what they call it in English, but they were announcing a game for the 3DS of this anime. I haven't played it, but it's for the 3DS. I think the art in One Piece is gross. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Maybe if I got used to it, but it's really, really strange. This one looks like a, what do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, newspaper, yes. And this is from Hero Aka, My Hero Academia. Um, so yeah, it was when the second, uh, what do you call it? Second arc was starting. 
Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one who doesn't like One Piece because of the art. <laughs> because I know lots of people who really love that series. This one is, what is it? Uh, oh, Prince of Tennis. I'm surprised that it was still going on and it was still popular. This one, this one is another One Piece thingy. One Piece Power, summer 2016. I don't know. One Piece, yeah. Oh, and this one is a, oops. This one is a clear folder from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I picked this one up because I like this character better than the other ones that was there. <laughs> I don't think they had deals. I really like the old, but they don't have it. And then I also picked up this one. It came like this, so you couldn't tell what's in it. And it's just a clear postcard. And how much was it? It doesn't say. Oh, yeah. Hiroaka is one. I like it, too. And then I got this. So it turned out quite good. I'm happy that I didn't get any other character that's kind of weird. <laughs> Because, you know, sometimes you don't, when you don't get to choose. Uh, ah, I hate putting things back in their bags. Yeah, Jotaro. Oh, okay, so that was it for that Jay's Jay World thingy. No, another bookmark. I already showed you guys this is a strong Kirby Museum. And what the hell? This one I think I opened up. I mean the other part pieces here, but this is a clear uh, acrylic stand of uh, <laughs> Seven Dragon 3. Yes. On the 3, yes. What do you call it? Code V BFD, yeah, I played it, but I can never remember what it was called. Uh, Bakumatsu Rock anime, I thought it was funny, but I wouldn't recommend it to someone. <laughs> I think it's a little bit, like, weird. I tried, I made my husband watch the first three episodes, and he was like, no more, please, no more. <laughs> so, yeah. Monokuma uh, with bikini Monokuma. And this one was four dollars. More folders, Pokemon XY, but this one I didn't get when I went there two years ago. I've had it before since the uh, this is one up. Uh, it's a free magazine from Akihabara. And you get the map, you know, like you do in most other magazines. And you have like where to eat, what is it, stuff. The best kept cafes and like cute fashion thingies. So yeah, it's kind of interesting to look at. Ah, uh, let me read the comments. Mm, even if one piece was good, I don't think. Oh yeah, 800 episodes, yeah, it's too much. When I used to teach Japanese, my students would want me to watch One Piece so we could talk about it in Japanese, but I was like, I don't I don't want to. <laughs> oh, this one's, this one's sealed. Guilty here. What is it, Accent Core Plus? Accent Core Plus R. So it's like a folder, clear folder. And how do you want to pronounce this game? Because in Japanese, we pronounce it Bude Budu. So I would usually say Blade Blue, but everybody else would say Blade Blue or Blast Blue. And I don't know, I don't know how to uh, say it without people getting, like, telling me how to pronounce it. Most people wouldn't pronounce it like they do in Japan. So. I'm going to open it because there's something in here. What is everyone playing over in Japan? Uh, 
Monster Hunter. <laughs> Blue. Yeah, I would try to say like blade blue when I'm talking to a Japanese person, but I would say blade blue when I'm talking to an English speaking person because they would look at me weird if I say blade blue. I bought blade blue on Switch and October. You mean the cross tag battle? The cross tag battle, I didn't really like. I mean, I only played the demo on, like, when I went to GameStop, I tried it out. I felt like I was only pressing one button. Come on. Why is it so sealed? Why do they do this to me? Mm. How? What is this anyway? Why is it? Is this like, they take those for me. Oh, sure. Yeah. There you go. <sighs> And it's still sealed. Why? Finally. Oh, there's there's more of them. There's more than one in here. Okay, so this is the Accent Core Plus R. This is cool. So bad guy. Yay. So bad guy. I don't like him as as a character that you use in the fighting game because I feel like anybody who uses Soul Bad Guy is like good at using him because it feels like you can like do a combo with almost anything he does. <laughs> yeah, guilty gear. Why do they seal it? I don't know. Yeah, in Japan they usually seal everything up, especially if it's used. Um, I mean, only if it's used because if it's new, it's sealed already. Yeah, what am I saying? Blaze blue, blade blue, blast blue. Mm -hmm. There you go. Pretty cool. And what was his name? Ragnar the Blood Edge or something? I don't like him because his design is kind of wonky. Yeah, I like Soul Bad Guy better as a main character. He's cool. Well, now that I opened it, uh, I'll probably seal it up later. Ugh. What else? A clear poster. Yep, from Lawson. Then, oh, this is cute. Kirby clear poster. I think I got this one. I couldn't like I could not get it because it has so many waddle dees and then waddle doos in the on the clouds. Yeah. And then these are clear post posters, clear folders that I got from my aunt aunt. Yeah. I had to carry some documents with me when I went there, so she gave me these. I'm not gonna show them because I have still like stopping here. Oh, hmm. I subbed to you yesterday. I like your work. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. This is from this is this art book. Uh, art book. This artwork is the same person that does the artwork for Seventh Dragon. The after the 2020. That's why I picked it up. But this art in particular is from a. Vocaloid album, music album, but I really like it. I don't like Vocaloid that much. I think that was it. Getting to the end of the box. Ugh, it's really hot in here. Oh yeah, me too, I have that album, but I don't know if I've listened to it, honestly. Oh, umaibo. This is like what the otaku people in Japan eat. It's like a, I don't know how I would, how, how do I explain it? It's like a snack that looks like a long, I don't know, it's like a corn based snack and it's long and it has a hole in the middle. Yeah. 
can't get into yeah I can't get into it either but I, there are some songs that I really like too yeah large cheeto puff yeah something like that hmm these are trading cards from Street Fighter, but they're really old. Look at how old it looks. He looks stocky, but I think you can play with these. It says attack Hadouken 80 and defense 80 and who knows what. But I think these are stickers. It feels like you can peel them off, but I'm not sure. There are too many, too many. But I don't like how they look. It just looks cool because it looks old. Who drew these anyways? This is funny. Tagapaka? <laughs> uh, or how do you, yeah, Tagapaka. I could never understand what everybody's saying. In Street Fighter, they pronounce everything kind of weird or they yell so quickly that you can't understand. Uh, you, you like live streaming so far? Well, it's fun. I have I've only done two. <laughs> Three, favorite Street Fighter character? Ken? That's the only character I've been, I usually use when I play. I'm not good at it. My husband is really good at it. He's the one who grew up with this, these games. <clears throat> he knows all the differences between like alpha one, two, three and alpha, whatever, upper and super and championship edition. I don't know what, what, I mean, I don't remember. I mean, I can't memorize the differences between each of those games because to me, they feel, well, they don't feel the same, but since I'm not good at it and I don't know the differences technically. Yeah. The voice clips are too compressed. Yeah. You, how many are there? Is it the same one? This is this. I have these. These were shiny and these must be the regular ones. Uh, are they repeated? I, did, I don't even know. I think these haven't shown these. Yata. And then Fati. He's fat but really muscular. Kind of weird. This is funny because he doesn't do the dance anymore. He should do it again. <laughs> That's funny too. This one. Yeah, I mean, definitely looks old because these are from the Street Fighter 2. This is when they win, right? Oh, Hadouken. Uh, well, yeah. Oh, it's fun, funny because, funny, interesting because on the back it tells you how to, like tips to how to beat Chun Li with Zhangi or Zhangi with Chun Li. So yeah. I guess they they're good for something, not only just for uh, playing it with it. Yeah. What is he doing? Oh, he's the uh, little the the foot footsie. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Yes. Got this. Why is he blue? I didn't. It's kind of weird that they have the alternate colors, color swap swaps. Chunli getting killed. <laughs> yeah. And then we have this guy again, color swap. I think I've showed these. I don't know why these three are together. Hmm. I don't know why these three are together. 
Everybody's together. Everybody's together. And really shiny ones. Ooh, shiny. Shiny. There are too many. Shiny cards. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm sure that was that was too much. <laughs> too many. Now to put them away, it's gonna be harder. I'll well, just leave them in the back. So, okay, now that we're done with that, uh, Berserk, Keychain, Dots, three dollars. Mm, looks pretty bad. Looks pretty old. Does it focus better like this? No, it doesn't. I'm a, I'm disappointed in the new uh, anime of Berserk because it looks quite bad. Napier, yay. I don't remember getting this at all. I don't remember getting this either. $4, but this is an acrylic stand. Yeah, almost every computer generated anime looks bad, uh, but not all. This is like, I don't know, but like stickers trading card stickers thingy from Boku no Hero Academia. Yeah. What is it saying? Did the stream start buffing? My time, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Toki. Toki? Yeah, I don't remember. Hokuto no Ken. The Henshiro's brother. This one is the Cabanetti of the Iron Forest pin. I don't know what's in it. Uh, yeah, doesn't tell you what's in it and it's sealed. Ooh. Another TA Persona 4 pin. I want to look back because I don't know where my cat is. Oh, she went to sleep. She got tired. Oh, my ball again. But this is like a something that you would put on your clothes or something. This I have no idea. Oh yeah, this is a keychain of I think Luca from the Vocaloid series. And we have a long pin of Wochako from My Hero Academia. How much? A dollar. Most of these things are quite cheap. This is, I don't know, like ID card of the characters from Danganronpa. What was her name? Asakina? Yeah, Aoi, As Asakina Aoi. Yeah, Aoi. Dollar. Hey, what is this? Clear card collection gum. Three. So... I guess there's gum in there that we haven't opened for over two years. It still feels intact. <laughs> it doesn't feel nasty in there. And I'm sure the gum is like separated from in another package, so it should be fine. So yeah, I don't know how much this was. Neptune, nep, nep, $2. Chew the gum? What if I die or something midstream? What if something happens to me? My cats aren't going to help me. Um, this, I don't know what it is. It says Evangelion Q Transformer from Takara Tomi. Q Collaboration Evangelion uh, Hakusei Virgin. So I guess it transforms into a car or a truck and it transforms back into the robot thingy. Hmm. Kind of interesting, but it's sealed. Usa Monomi, Monomi. <laughs> I keep saying Usami with Usami. A dollar. And oh, 
one this is cool coasters from lay lay blue blast blue blaze blue then we have another one in the back there are two of them so yeah so we have more we have her <laughs> i can't remember all the names noel was it noel and who is she i don't remember <clears throat> This one is a, what is it? <laughs> a plate badge from Cabanelli of the Iron Forest. This is kind of cool, but I don't like the design of these chibi looking things. Dollar, so I guess it was okay. This one's cool, uh, Hatsune Miku Racing Version 2016. So it's like a keychain, but it's quite big and not that cheap, it's $5. $5 for a used thing, kind of expensive, but it's cool. Oh, look. This, this, these squeezable thingy called oh, Splatoon. $3. We don't even like Splatoon. Why did we get it? I, I don't understand. Oh, keychain of the DualShock 3. I have the DualShock 4 version, uh, but I got the one that you connect the the ear, uh, the what do you call it, where you connect the headphones. Yeah, I got that one instead of a keychain, so I connect that on to my uh, DualShock 4. <clears throat> yeah, it's cool. This is my husband's, but he never used it. He still sealed and put away. It was six dollars plus tax. Hmm. What did it say? The, 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 the. Hello Kitty Lifesaver, like candy. First anime gong. Oh, you never ate it? You should open it up. <laughs> this is the character from Osoma-san. I like that anime, but I haven't gotten to uh, finishing watching the second season. I should do that, but yeah. All Might, one dollar, one dollar. This is a spinner thingy, uh, what do you call it? You know, the thing that you spin, but it's heavy. It's like made out of metal or something. I don't know. I didn't get it. Like, what is this? <laughs> Why is it in here? Uh, oh, I don't remember his name in English, but like in Japanese, it was Gensan. Well, actually, I don't know if the game came out in, in the States. Can you see it? There you go. It was a game on the, I think, Super Nintendo? Metal Pin. Yeah. A dollar. Yeah, Gensan. But I don't know if there's a name for it in English. What? Hammer, hammering. Harry. Okay. Harry. How did Gensang turn into Harry? I guess they could have done better. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is a walk, what do you call it? Bakudaiwa, the, the rock that explodes in your face in Grand Quest, but it's clear and it's pink. This one is sealed. I'm not gonna show all the cards because like, I don't think anybody wants to see it, but these are Toho trading cards. My, my husband likes Toho, I guess, <laughs> because he bought it, not me. But he should at least, you know what, I'm gonna keep it outside because I have a whole bunch of like trading card collections that I keep. I'm gonna put it in there. He'll never notice. I'll just say it's mine. And this one looks pretty old. It says Macros Valkyrie BF1A. 170th scale real type Macros. Uh, yeah. So I guess, I don't know what it is. Bigger, I think, but it looks pretty small and old. 
that's just 50, 50th anniversary, <laughs> anniversary. Um, so yeah, my husband got it, not me. And then we have this thing. This has a little suction cup on it. supposed to put it on a window or something he looks like he's stuck on there it's kind of cool three dollars and then this one my wall and it's another thing that you're supposed to put it put on here like when i walk out in the streets with a my pin stuck to my body i don't think so i mean they wouldn't know what it is anyway and I think that was it, except for, did I miss something? I don't think so. That was it. Oh, that was a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that we really don't need. Yeah. What does it say? I need to read the comments. Um, oh, yeah, the corn potato shumaibo is the best shumaibo. Yes, that's, what, that's the one we always buy. <clears throat> We usually don't buy anything else. We just get the corn, corn potage one. And that's the, I know that that's the most popular because it's all, always sold out at the store, Japanese food store we go to buy our Japanese food. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, yeah. So that's it. That was all of the stuff that was in the box. And now I have to clean everything by myself. My cat won't help me because they're asleep, I think. Yeah, my cat, the one that was running around is still up there looking at me. She's on, on, I'll, I'll show you guys. She's right there. She's like looking at me. Now she's asleep. Yeah. And my cat hasn't moved this one hasn't moved since i started and the other one is still in, in that box that's behind the sofa <laughs> she's judging me yes she is they should at least come out it was their time to shine it's not like i'm gonna be streaming in this room every time you know <laughs> she has the high ground yeah like I said, she already hurt me twice. This is the second time that she did this to me. Although I'm kind of surprised that everything healed up pretty quickly. You can't really see that much anymore. I have a little scar there. But when it happened, like I freaked out because I started bleeding a whole bunch. So yeah, I mean, it's not her fault. It was my fault that I let her out. I mean, she escaped. I didn't pay any attention. So I'm not mad, but I did freak out quite much, a lot. So yeah, uh, so I noticed, well, now before I end the stream, I noticed that now I have 1,000 subscribers, but I don't know what to do. So if you have any suggestions for something that I should do, maybe a stream or maybe a special video, let me know in the chat. <laughs> I will ask in Twitter too, but if you have any suggestions right now, let me know before I leave so that I can think about it, please, while I put away live Q&A. Will I get that many questions? <laughs> what if there's only like five people watching and only like five questions, like for five minutes? <laughs> 10 top 10 favorite JRPG. That's good, but I feel like most everybody who has watched my channel would know which is my favorite JRPG. I mean, I could do that, but I don't. It doesn't have to be like a thousand subscriber thingy. Uh, expired food stream? <laughs> no, I don't have a very st strong stomach. I would get sick. Top five toho, toho what? <laughs> like the characters or games. I'm not I'm not that into Toho, my husband is, but I don't think he knows much about it either. He just likes the characters. He's like a 
he's not that much of a fan, I mean. Yeah. I think Q and A would be good, but maybe I'll have to ask the questions beforehand because I don't think that many people will actually be on the stream. I mean, I could do both, like ask the questions and then make a stream and answer bo both questions. I think that would be ideal because I don't think there would be that many people watching on the stream, I mean live. And since not all of the people are from the same uh, time zone, it's kind of hard. Best Sheet M5 Underground. Uh, that would be fun. It's kind of niche. <laughs> Q and A. Yeah, I think I'll go with the Q and A session. I'll think about when I will do it. I don't know if I'll do it during the week or on weekend. On a weekend, I really don't know what people do. Like, I know people work during weekdays, but I feel like on weekends, everybody goes out. In my case, I work at the house. I mean, I work from home, so I don't have to leave the house. So I can do this almost any time I want. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, questions, live and answer questions. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll just figure out when to do it. So yeah, um, I think I'll, what, weekends will be better. Yeah, I'll do it on the weekend then. Maybe next weekend so that I can gather some questions from Twitter and maybe I'll post a, um, I'll ask on YouTube before. On Monday I'll make a video and then at the end I'll ask for some questions. I think that would be the best. Maybe Sunday afternoon. It goes Saturday night, I'm sure everybody's gone, like, drinking and partying and stuff. So, yeah, Sunday afternoon after, you know, they've got their rest and everything. I'm sure most people stay, stay home. <clears throat> okay, so I think I will end the stream so that I can get rid of this mess that I made. Uh, I might not even put everything back the way it, they were because I'm lazy like that. And then my husband will scold me when he opens it. I know this is a bunch of games. Anyway, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I had fun and maybe next time I'll actually play something again <laughs> instead of just opening stuff up. But yeah, I just wanted to test out. I actually streamed directly from YouTube instead of using the XSplit and stuff, OBS. So yeah, I just wanted to test this out too. So thank you very much for watching and hope you guys have a nice weekend. Uh, yeah, so, um, oh yeah, no problem. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.